So this event consists of a two-day assessment. Day one will be an Army physical training test, and then day two will be a 12-mile foot march with a 30-pound pack. After they complete both days of the assessments and pass all portions of the assessment, uh, we move on to quizzing the candidates in aircraft nomenclature, how much uh, weight an aircraft can carry, how much fuel it can carry. Air Assault allows you to get troops, equipment, and anything you need to places that fixed wing aircraft can't necessarily get into. So this allows our candidates the chance to go to that school, learn sling loading operations, and help support that mission with the Army. So it's just a way to uh, challenge myself and to uh, just see where I'm at physically, because obviously the Army Air Assault course is a very physically intense course. They actually call it the 10 hardest days in the Army. I would absolutely recommend Air Assault to anybody and everybody, because at the end of the day, you're going to push yourself, you're going to raise those limits to a higher spot that you never even thought were possible. Uh, I'm big on improving myself in all avenues of life. That's the main reason why I went into the Air Force. So this is just one more step towards that goal. So the significance of this event, uh, it provides uh, the candidates an opportunity to prove themselves, to you know, take that first step to do something different outside the career field. Not only that, is with security forces moving into a air-based defense and agile combat employment operations, moving back to that, this allows us to work with our joint partners and be better prepared for any contingency missions and better understand the Army.